finally this week, let's hear from Adventist historian David Trim. On Christmas Day, 1865, Ellen White received her second health vision. Her first vision on health reform in 1863 had set forth great health principles and urged their adoption by the SDA church. This second vision reproved Adventists for having been too slow in changing diet, hygiene and modes of health care and instructed that the SDA church should found its own institutions and as a result the world famous Battle Creek Sanitarium was established in 1866 as the Western Health Reform Institute. On December 29, in 1871, the 10th General Conference session convened in Battle Creek, Michigan. It elected George I. Butler, the fourth General Conference president, replacing James White, who had just served a second term of two years. Butler was president until 1874, when White became president for the third and last time. On December 30, in 1902, the Review and Herald Publishing Company building in Battle Creek burnt to the ground. The building and most of the stocks of books and plates were all destroyed, including J. N. Loughborough's pioneering church history, The Rise and Progress of the Third Angel's Message. Undaunted, Loughborough wrote it all from scratch. Ellen White had warned against Adventist over-concentration in Battle Creek, and within three years of that fire, both the General Conference headquarters and the Review and Herald had moved to Washington, D.C. That was this week in Adventist history.